as photosynthesis in higher plants. So, what is uh, the content of this lesson? Here we have to talk about the light reaction and dark reaction in details. Together with that, photosynthesis will be calling it always, uh, I mean, completes itself in two reactions or two parts that is a light reaction and a dark reaction. Together with that, what we will study is photosynthesis or requirement. A plant or any living organism, if it has to undergo photosynthesis, it has a particular type of requirements, right? So, that is the content. So, light reaction, dark reaction, we need to study. Okay. Another thing is, I think you know, after this chapter, we have another chapter that is called as respiration, right? So, in respiration, also, we'll come across certain cycles and in photosynthesis also we come across certain cycles right for example if you talk about photosynthesis c3 cycle c4 cycle these are something that we study and in case of respiration we study citric acid cycle etc etc so from examination point of view from mcq point of view reactions for c3 c4 these are not something to be remembered because the entire cycle to Mukhosta Kurima Nalage. C3 cycle, you don't have to remember all the reactions of the cycle. Similarly, in case of C4 also, all the reactions are not important. The important we will discuss in the class. But if you are talking about respiration, obviously, uh, if you know, we have certain words called as glycolysis, citric acid cycle, etc., etc., everything you need to buy hard. Right? That's the first topic. Okay. So, uh, before writing the notes, let us have a small understanding about the process. Whenever we talk about photosynthesis, what we understand, actually photosynthesis hoi ki, it is nothing but a reaction, right? So, it is a reaction that occurs in certain living organisms. Now, whenever we talk about it as a reaction, reaction what to qua loge loge, there are certain words that comes to our mind. For example, oxidation, oxidative reaction, reductive reaction, right, anabolic reaction, catabolic reaction and another term that is called as endergonic or exergonic. So, photosynthesis ki hoi, photosynthesis eta reaction hoi, right, reaction or kisuman words a hai, jeneke, anabolic, catabolic, oxidative, Reductive or reduction reactions equal are you do it ahoy? Redox, right? So, it is a reaction and whenever we talk about reaction, these are the words. Similarly, when we will be talking about respiration, respiration is also a reaction and when we talk about any reaction, physio-biochemical reaction, so the question that has been asked is, photosynthesis is an example of, you have to choose between the words, right? Photosynthesis is an example of which type of a reaction? So, let us come from the first point, anabolic and catabolic, I think we know the difference, no? If something is prepared during a reaction, that is what is called as anabolic and something gets broken down, that is called as catabolic. Whenever we talk about anabolic, obviously photosynthesis or key oil, food synthesizer, so obviously it is a anabolic. On the other hand, if you talk about respiration, respiration would be an example of key catabolic. Okay, from these two words, we have selected the word. Next is oxidative and reductive, key hoy. Photosynthesis oxidation hoy ne reduction. Now, talking about oxidation and reduction, what is oxidation, what is reduction? Details obviously in the chemistry class and nothing to do with biology, right? But in a very simpler manner, whenever we talk about reduction, ekdom simple ke what we understand? Addition of something, what is that something? Hydrogen, obviously, right? Yeah, so yate ki hobo, so photosynthesis ki hoy, oxidation hoy ne reduction hoy. Oxidation hoi ne reduction hoi. Actually, you will see later that both the two reactions occur, right? Oxidation also occurs, reduction also occurs. Now, the next question that follows, since both of them take place, now we can talk about it as a redox reaction. Next part of the question would be, who undergoes oxidation and who undergoes reduction? As we will write the equation, we will be talking about that. Next, coming to these two words, endergonic and exergonic. These two words are related with energy. Right? If in a reaction energy is produced, it is called exergonic. If in a reaction energy is used, that is called as endergonic. And whenever we talk about energy, though obviously we are talking about what? Nothing but ATP formation or ATP release. Right? So during the process of photosynthesis, ATP formation hoy, ne ATP use hoy. Think. ATP use hoy. Ne ATP form hoy. ATP use hoy. ATP form hoy. 
ने दुईटा होय ने की होय ATP use hoy. Okay, we know that ATP gets used. Where it gets used, we will be talking about it later. But no doubt, it is a reaction where ATP gets used, right? It is. It will. Uh, sorry, it could be called as K endergonic. But we know ATP gets produced also in the photosynthesis. ATP produced hoy na hoy. If someone has read about light reaction, right? So I mean, already ki koi silo photosynthesis divided into two steps. That is light reaction and dark reaction. Right? Whenever we talk about our reaction, reaction or kisman products thaki bo. So light reaction or kisman product thaki bo, dark reaction or kisman product thaki bo. Photosynthesis is a process of preparing food. Photosynthesis completes itself in two reaction. The question that is asked is in which reaction or after which reaction the food is prepared. Food in the form of starch or glucose or carbohydrate is a result of light reaction, ne dark reaction. It is a result of dark reaction. So, do, yeah, it's a result of dark reaction. So, duta reaction hobo le gibo, duita reaction hua pisote ki hobo food to prepare hobo. That does not mean light reaction doesn't have any role in photosynthesis. If light reaction doesn't occur, photosynthesis no hoboi. Right? So, how would we understand light reaction and dark reaction? Very easy, I mean, very simple way to understand this. If you want to cook rice, you have to go and buy rice. Similarly, if the plant has to make uh, the food in the form of carbohydrate, it should have its raw materials also. A raw materials can be prepared in the light reaction. If raw material light reaction is produced, then the dark reaction is not produced. If you have rice, how will you cook the rice? You have to buy it first. Right? Similarly, here also light reaction has to occur, the products needs to get synthesized. This products would be used and ultimately you will get in the form of carbohydrate or starch or glucose, whatever. Right? So coming to this point again, it is an example of ki endergonic reaction because it is a process in which ATP is used or energy is used. ATP is used in which process? ATP in the form of energy is produced during light reaction and it is used in the dark reaction to produce the food. Jihe to eta side ki hoise, it is producing, eta side ki hoise, it is consuming. Kintu whenever we talk about photosynthesis main aim ki that the food is prepared. How is the food prepared? By taking the ATP. So by consuming ATP, so we use the word called as endergonic. On the other hand, if you compare this with respiration, respiration of the basic first question that we ask is why do we respire? We respire to get energy, right? So, I mean, respire. So, there's a difference between breathing and respiration. We'll discuss everything in the next chapter, right? But we respire to get energy. Energy corpora pi, something gets broken down and then energy is released, right? Energy in the form of ATP. If energy is released, it would be called as K. Exergonic photosynthesis of to energy form kore code form kore light reaction and form kore kintu that is completely consumed in the dark reaction since it is completely consumed it is an example of endergonic other three terms clear right so how will you define photosynthesis it's an example of anabolic redox and endergonic reaction clear okay Next is we have to talk about exactly what happens during the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis means what? We are talking about the use of light for the preparation of food, right? Whenever we talk about light, light cobra obviously sunlight, right? The plants will take in light. Now, if you take the, if you say that the plants take in light, they tell the plants are aru specifically zanibolevo as to which part is responsible for that. Absorption of light is generally related with which part? The leaves. Right? So, leaves sort, ako leaves bully kole no you have to be more precise, you have to go inside. In the leaf, what do you have? Okay, just if I ask you a question, what is the site for photosynthesis? Photosynthesis coat hoy. You cannot be saying that leaves. Leaves is correct, obviously. Kindu okuman details of jabo lehibo. Right? So, photosynthesis coat hoy. Photosynthesis chloroplast out hoy. Right? Chloroplast is the house where the photosynthesis takes place. Again, next to that is where will you find the chloroplast? You have to be precise because leaves is a collection of cells and you have to be precise in which cell will you find the chloroplast. It is always the mesophyll cell, right? And what is mesophyll? I think we have already discussed, right? I think we have discussed that. At least I think we have given you an idea what is mesophyll. Remember we have talked about the three different types of tissue systems, right? Epidermal tissue system, ground tissue system, 
ভাস্কুলার টিস্যুস আছে না যেমানবোৰ টিস্যুস আছে প্লান্ট এটা যেমানবোৰ টিস্যুস আছে গোটেই টিস্যুস বিলাকক তিন ভাগত ভাগ কৰিব পাৰি দ্যাট ইজ এপিডার্মেল গ্ৰাউণ্ড এণ্ড ভাস্কুলার ভাস্কুলার টিস্যুস সিস্টেম কনসিস্ট অফ ওয়াট জাইলেম এণ্ড ফ্লোয়েম এণ্ড ইফ ইউ টক এবাউট এপিডার্মেল টিস্যু সিস্টেম অবভিয়াসলি দ্য এপিডার্মেস এণ্ড অল দ্য স্ট্রাকচারস দ্যাট arises from the epidermis or it is present in the epidermis we are talking about stomata we are talking about hair like structures called as trichomes etc etc remaining those two tissue system that is epidermis to area vascular system to area major jiman bila ka seta ka ami ki buli kom ground tissue system right and whenever we talk about ground tissue system and to be more precise epidermis of isat ki ase hypodermis ece p sequence i think we have talked about it many times right so gute khini ki form koribo ground tissue system but in case of leaves ki hoy you have the epidermis below the epidermis the entire lot of cells is called as what mesophyll in the ground tissue system in case of leaves is called as mesophyll in the mesophyll cells you will see the chloroplast inside the chloroplast I think we have already studied structure of a chloroplast we have studied right so we know what is there inside the chloroplast what is a chloroplast it is nothing but a double membrane cell organelle right cell out ami already kori so ebla okay coming back to photosynthesis again photosynthesis code hoy chloroplast dot hoy photosynthesis ki hoy light reaction and dark reaction hoy where does light reaction takes place where does dark reaction takes place the first point is both the reaction takes place in the chloroplast itself অবভিয়াসলি ক্লোরোপ্লাস্টার হবে ইট ইজ জাস্ট আ পার্ট অফ ওয়ান রিয়াকশন ন এটা রিয়াকশনক দুভাগত ভাগ করে দিছে তো দুইটা রিয়াকশন কত হব ক্লোরোপ্লাস্টার ভিতরতে হব বাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু বি প্রেসাইজ ডার্ক রিয়াকশন অকজ ইন হুইচ পার্ট অফ দ্য ক্লোরোপ্লাস্ট এন্ড লাইট রিয়াকশন অকজ ইন হুইচ পার্ট অফ দ্য ক্লোরোপ্লাস্ট দিস ইজ সামথিং উই হ্যাভ অলরেডি ডিসকাসড সেল স্ট্রাকচারত আমি অলরেডি ডিসকাস করছো ন সো লাইট রিয়াকশন কত হব লাইট রিয়াকশন কত হব যতে পিগমেন্টসবিল থাকিব তাতে light reaction hobo because whenever we talk about light reaction we understand that someone takes in light and the process starts who takes in light chloroplast or bhitorot to reaction to he hoise first step of the reaction ki someone takes in light who takes in light the pigments take in light yeah it is the no who takes in light it is the pigments that take in light and where exactly can you find the pigments in the thylakoids and obviously you can find it in the grana also because what is grana a collection of thylakoids right again i think you remember we have talked about thylakoid being a double membrane structure right pigments will like kotha kibo outer membrane of the thylakoid so you have the chloroplast inside the chloroplast you have the thylakoid thylakoid double membrane outer membrane not ki thakibo pigments thakibo and this pigments will take in light and the reaction will start clear okay next If you are talking about pigments present in the thylakoid I think we have discussed this point also how are the pigments arranged in the thylakoid do they remain single or they remain in a group Eta chloroplast ase right chloroplast we know that this is a double membrane structure chloroplast of it remember we have talked about stroma thylakoid grana stroma lamellae etc etc right so a to ki hoy thylakoid a to ki hoy grana a to ki hoy stroma lamellae right we have already discussed so what we know whenever we talk about stroma stroma is a site of ki light reaction dark reaction dark reaction kot hobo dark reaction stroma thobo light reaction kot hobo right reaction generally we talk about it as thylakoid okay coming talking about thylakoid double membrane structure outer membrane ki thakibo pigments thakibo pigments bilak eneke groups of thakibo ne eneke thakibo it is always in groups and whenever we talk about groups we talk about two groups kiman ta group ot arrange hoy ase du ta group ot right aru he group gitar naam ki we have some specific name for the group he group tur naam ki clear photosystem 1 or photosystem 2 we know photosynthesis photosynthesis starts by taking in light who takes in light the pigments take in light where will you find the pigments in the outer membrane of the thylakoid how are the pigments arranged they are arranged in the form of a group how many groups will you see two what are the name of the group photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 
right talking about a group no what as a group of pigments consist of e black of my key bully because group bully because right group of what this is a thylakoid these are groups groups of what groups of pigments and whenever we talk about pigments pigments money key we are talking about something called as photosynthetic pigments right and you should be knowing that we'll be discussing and we'll be writing the note also photosynthetic pigments will equal a what is the most common type of pigment that we know chlorophyll but is it chlorophyll that's the only pigment responsible for photosynthesis no we have certain things other things like carotenoids also we have heard xenophils also so photosynthetic pigments will equal a broadly divide into three types that is chlorophyll carotenes aru phycobilins right so hekini mo likham alap pisot this is just a brief discussion right so photosynthetic pigments ki ki phycobilins carotenes and chlorophyll the pigment that is found in higher plants is always chlorophyll and carotin the pigments that is found in case of other photosynthetic organisms other photosynthetic organisms mane we are talking about bacteria we are talking about blue green algae we are talking about red algae etc so tahantar tat ki thakibo phycobilins i think you all remember no phycoerythrin phycocyanin porisilu no plant kingdom of so a black ki hor group phycobilins hor group higher plants hor ki thakibo chlorophyll thakibo no hole carotenes mane dui ta thakibo so if i talk about it as a group of pigments what would this group consist of kenu ba dhoronor pigments thakibo ami ki hor kotha pori aso we are talking about pigment uh, photosynthesis of higher plants higher plants hor photosynthetic pigments ki thake chlorophyll thake aru carotenes thake so group tot ki thakibo obviously chlorophyll thaki ba aru carotene thaki ba it will be a collection of both the two types of pigments right so it will be a group and this group consists of how many members you should you should know that number we have a word that is called as a quantasome quantasome is also called as a photosynthetic unit and whenever we use the word unit kete ami use kori unit to when you have to measure something unit of length unit of mass right etia ami ki koisu photosynthetic unit so we are going to measure we are going to study as to how many pigments will first take in the light and start the process plants a light lobo light loi play synthesis to arambha koribo kiman ta pigments a first time light loi because we know they remain in the form of a group what are the members of the group that is what is called as group to kami ki boli kom quantasome boli u kom right ar quantasome ki thake 230 chlorophyll molecules and accessory pigments now we have two words necessary pigments and accessory pigments necessary pigments ki very essential pigments to obviously chlorophyll accessory pigments ki hobo carotenes carotenes divided into two parts that is carotenoids or xenophils so he group to totally ki thakibo chlorophyll thakibo carotenoids thakibo or xenophil thakibo clear so ultimately we have a group a group to ki hobo the light will fall the uh, light energy will get distributed and ultimately it will reach to one of the major molecule of the group so whenever we talk about a group whenever we talk about a team we remember that the, every team has a team leader jikuna ta kam jani koribol diu no group ot group ot ta leader thake thik ase similarly a to group ot to eta leader we don't use the word leader but a very essential member and that name is called as a reaction center right so a to group auto reaction center ta gibo a to group auto reaction center ta gibo reaction center is the most important member of this group and who will form the reaction center obviously the most important pigment and who is the most important pigment chlorophyll right so it's a group of various pigments it has a reaction center reaction center is nothing but chlorophyll again the question that follows is which chlorophyll to be precise because we know chlorophyll is around 9 to 10 types chlorophyll a thakibo b thakibo c thakibo d thakibo bacteria chlorophyll thakibo etc etc so which is the universal chlorophyll it's chlorophyll a that is called as universal and so the reaction center would always be k chlorophyll a is the concept up till here clear right okay next once it take once it takes in the light ki hobo so yet a light ase light to code poribo eta group ot poribo reaction center thakibo thik ase yar pra light bila kahibo they will distribute they have different names we'll discuss later ultimately the light will come to the reaction center this is nothing but chlorophyll a 
right once the light falls in the chlorophyll a or reaction center he ki koribo electrons it will get excited right so foreign was to attack he said kibata to change the bono so it gets excited and ultimately it releases electron so the question that is asked is what is the first step of photosynthesis the first step of photosynthesis is release of electrons right a electrons are really released no hoy photosynthesis process to arm hoy no hobo right now from this molecule this electron went away whenever a electron is liberated e it will have or it will go Koba rasta zabo no, he kole gusi zabo, koba ledo zabo. So he has two pathways. Either he will go for cyclic pathway or he will go for non-cyclic. Korpra ahi le, reaction center pra ula le. Ula hai pele electron to code goal. Either he can follow the cyclic pathway or he will follow the non-cyclic pathway. If I am talking about our cyclic pathway, tetiya hale what we understand, if it came from here, it will go back here. That is called a cyclic and if I am talking about non-cyclic, obviously it will come out from here and it will never return to this molecule again. That is called as non-cyclic. So we will have certain words called as cyclic photophosphorylation and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Cyclic, non-cyclic, we understood, right? Ako, so photosynthesis divided into two reactions, light reaction, dark reaction. Light reaction or ki hoi? Electron release hoi. Electron code jai. Cyclic pathway, but non-cyclic pathway. During this movement of this electrons, it's a reaction, right? Atropra e2 lego se, atropra e2 lego se. It produces something. Can anyone tell me what is the product of light reaction? ATP aru NADPH, right? Because as I said, no light reaction or ki hoy raw materials prepare hoy. Raw materials but the one that is essential to make the dark reaction. Hey, bostu ke ni prepare hoy. So light reaction or product ki ATP or NADPH. ATP ki hoy energy. NADPH is nothing but a coenzyme. Or as of now something that helps in dark reaction. Because so a do ta process during the cyclic and non-cyclic produce hobo. In both the process ATP has to get synthesized. Can the NADPH do it a process of the synthesized no hoy? It is only in the non-cyclic reaction that NADPH gets produced. A cyclic or ki hobo only ATP. Non-cyclic or ki hobo ATP plus NADPH. Clear? Okay. Now, what we understand by the word photophosphorylation. First, the word phosphorylation. Carboxylation zanune word to? What is carboxylation? Addition of carbon dioxide that's called as carboxylation. What is phosphorylation then? Addition of phosphate is called as phosphorylation. Addition of phosphate, phosphates get added to which one? Carlo could add hoy. ADP plus P will give you what? ATP. So ADP molecule to look at P log lagi len nai. Phosphate gets added. This reaction is called as what? Phosphorylation. So cyclic and non cyclic reaction we have two words phosphorylation, photophosphorylation. Right? So, photophosphorylation, maniki, production of ATP in the presence of light is called as photophosphorylation. Phosphorylation ki, production of ATP. Who produces ATP? ADP produces ATP. The process of formation of ATP from ADP is called as phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is of two types. Thamane ATP duta karno karne produce koi pare. Either it will be produced in presence of oxygen or it will be produced in presence of light. If it is produced in presence of light, we will be using a word called as photophosphorylation. If ATP is produced in presence of oxygen, it is called as oxidative phosphorylation. Duta word, pothamate key word buzilu, phosphorylation. We understood formation of ATP. Formation of ATP in presence of light, we have the word photo, photophosphorylation. Presence of formation of ATP in presence of oxygen, oxidative phosphorylation, right? Oxidative phosphorylation code hoy respiration on. I mean oxygen low no, oxygen low apply ki hoy respiration process starts and ultimately what is the end product ATP. So formation of ATP because of oxygen that is called as ki oxidative phosphorylation. Photosynthesis or to ATP formation hoy. So phosphorylation also occurs in photosynthesis, but that process is always dependent on light. So the process is called as key. Photophosphorylation. Are the two terms clear? 
right phosphorylation understood photophosphorylation related with what photosynthesis oxidative phosphorylation related with what respiration clear okay so cyclic non cyclic pathway ki hobo photophosphorylation hobo cyclic pathway to atp produce hobo non cyclic pathway to atp produce hobo in one uh, cycle occol atp produce hobo in one cycle both atp and nadph would be produced so whenever we talk about these two products once the process is over the two products are formed what next obviously the starting of the dark reaction light reaction complete hoar pisote ki hoy dark reaction dark reaction buli kwa loge loge whenever we talk about dark reaction depending on which plants we are talking about different different types of plant will show different different type of dark reaction first thing what happens in dark reaction the food is synthesized right second thus the dark reaction dependent on light ne independent of light <laughs> it is dependent on light dark reaction ketiao light reaction nu hua ke no hoy directly dependent no hoy it is not like this right but if light reaction does not occur dark reaction will never occur so ultimately dependent hole nai right so occur the ratiye dark reaction hoy it's not like that dark reaction does not occur at night when does dark reaction occur whenever light reaction gets over right atp nadp is it is synthesized hoy tti dark reaction arambha hoy not necessary day or night but the food in the form of carbohydrate is formed during the day time or during the night time it is formed during the night time reaction to he arambha hol product to immediately form koribo nike it'll take some time right so if it takes some time ultimately at the time of synthesis the food ketia form koribo during the night conditions clear similarly if we talk about plants we have certain plants we'll study kisman plants ok ami c3 plants boli kaun kisman ok c4 plants boli kaun kyo kaun we'll be talking about it c3 plants or dark reaction kene ke hobo c3 cycle hobo c4 plants or dark reaction kene ke hobo c4 cycle hobo apart from c3 and c4 we have another group of plants that is called as cam plants crassulation acid metabolism kun bilak plants i think you know the word that is called as succulent we have talked about in a morphology class succulent at a best example ki bryophyllum alloy a gave e black ki hoy succulent no so succulent mane ki you break the leaf and then a gel like substance comes out that is what is called as succulent the property is called as ki succulency right so in case of succulent plants you will see another type of dark reaction that is called as cam cycle so if you are talking about dark reaction cm cycle e hok c3 cycle e hok c4 cycle e hok what will be the product obviously the food is the point clear right just a, just to have a brief idea this is something that is we have to study during this chapter light reaction dark reaction understood ketia arambha hobo light when does light reaction take place light reaction ketia hobo jete light poribo as soon as sunlight falls light reaction starts right when does dark reaction takes place when light reaction gets over right what is the product of light reaction atp and nadph what is the product of dark reaction food when is the food prepared the food is prepared during the night the food that is prepared during the night what happens to the food so the plant is preparing food why is it preparing food কিহ কারণে প্লেন ডালে নিজ খোয়া বস্তু কে বনাইছে আলটিমেটলি এনার্জি পাবলে রাইট বিকজ ইট হ্যাজ টু গ্রো ইট হ্যাজ টু ইউজ দ্য এনার্জি এটসেট্রা এটসেট্রা বাট কথাটা হল যে ফুড বনাইছে সেই ফুডটি ইউজ করব ন ইউ হ্যাভ কুক দ্য রাইস ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইট ইট অলসো রাইট দ্য পয়েন্ট ইজ ওয়েন উইল ইউ ইট ইট উইল ইউ কিপ দ্য রাইস দেয়ার এন্ড ইট ইট নেক্সট মর্নিং ইউ উইল ইট ইট দেন এজ হিউম্যান বিংস আমি বনালো খালো রাইট উই জাস্ট কুক ইট এন্ড উই হ্যাভ ইট বাট ইন কেস অফ প্লেন্স ইজ নট লাইক দ্যাট ইট উইল প্রডিউস দ্য ফুড during the night it will stay store hoy thakibo store hoy thaki pale once the sunlight falls the food gets dissolved and then it will be used by the plants right in the form of starch food to ki hobo leaves out store hoy thakibo starch to baki cells bila ke use koribo lagile it has to get broken down right it cannot be using in that form no starch is a complex molecule complex molecule to ki hobo leibo simpler molecules hole convert hobo leibo simpler molecules keta convert hobo during the day time clear okay any questions up till now kisman walls palu phosphorylation palu photophosphorylation palu quantum palu product of light reaction palu product of dark reaction palu different types of dark reaction c3 c4 cam cycle 
right together with these we have to talk something called as photorespiration tinta cycle to already kolo aru eta cycle ase that is called as c2 right c2 or photorespiration what is photorespiration we'll be talking about as of now photorespiration is a major event that distinguishes the c3 plants and the c4 plants c3 plants are ki hobo photosynthesis dark reaction hobo c4 plants are ki hobo dark reaction hobo dui ta type of dark reaction or eta major difference is photorespiration it is something that is seen in one group not seen in the other group he kini pore question ahe so we'll go on as we start this process right so today in the class what we'll do is we'll start with the introduction part right some points about the lesson next we have to talk about certain scientists and their contributions also related with photosynthesis right next as i have said before no photosynthesis is a reaction or it is a redox reaction who undergoes oxidation who undergoes reduction he to pore question ahibo right what is the product of reaction obviously food reduction mane ki hydrogen add hobo no ki bahar logot hydrogen c6 h12 o6 h ase nai ase so product of ki product of reduction so what is the product of reduction the product of reduction is food in the form of carbohydrate right so thekini bostu ami discuss korim and certain experiments after this what we will discuss is something called as requirements for photosynthesis photosynthesis hobo lagile plant adalor kisuman requirement ase the basic requirements are or it could be categorized under five headings what are the requirements carbon dioxide carbon dioxide lagibo tete hai photosynthesis hobo second light light lagibo tete hai photosynthesis hobo third would be water fourth would be the chloroplast and fifth would be the photosynthetic pigments so a reactions a i mean requirements kini details for him right and then we'll move out in the chapter i think it's clear now okay i think you all have got the pdf group of pdf by some name paisa so what do you want me to do write the pdf once again or we'll just explain explain write the pdf 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 dile likha na hoy likhisa very good so nice very nice ha ha kwa 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 ki kosila class o thakile likha hoy no tumi kun kune koy asa no and which batch Okay. 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 I understood. Understood. Again, the same thing, no? Both has advantage and disadvantage. If you write, the process is going to get slow. If you don't write, you might not write ever. Huh? Direct reaction. Direct ma porhai dilu hetin. Ki reta je likhi dibo lage. Likhi dia mane aje to light reaction subo nwarim. Because starting point. How many pages has been forwarded? Fifteen pages, I think. Fourteen pages. No, fourteen pages. Likhi sa, na likha. Azhi hai dise? Okay. What do you want me to? I have to write it down. Okay, chalo, likho. <laughs> Actually, ki ho sa zana? एक ना जो जो लिखी सा जस्ट स्टे ट्राई टू आंडारस्टैंड इतने कि किसान स्टूडेंट वन मी टू राइट इट डाउन बिकज दे उल राइट इट एलंग उथ मी एंड साम वन स्टार्ट ओके चलो अक आंडारस्टैंडिंग पार्ट एटिया उथ सैड टू गो उथ सैड टू गो ओके चलो माइ वे अफ राइट actually in our previous classes no? I mean in our previous batches before lockdown we never used to give the PDF everything we need to write it down in the class and the students write it down this time we are doing this so that we can like what because we have less time no classes started late so that's the reason why we are giving the pdf but my my normal way of teaching is obviously i write everything in the board and you all copy it down and similarly along with that we go for the understanding uh, point also so hitu koribo para etu koribo para dia likha 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 keep on writing any point that you did not understand please ask okay and if you want to see it from the pdf and write then also you can do because you have it in your hand right the same points i am going to write it in the board itself so ji likha likha
मोबाइल टूडे और टुमरो यू हेव टू राइट इट डाउन राइट सो राइट स्टार्ट राइटिंग स्टार्ट राइटिंग इन एले हुआ हम ना स्टार्ट राइटिंग लिखा जी फास्ट लिखा सी लिखा ओके इन द मीन टाइम मैं लिखो फार्ष्ट वर्ड तो ती दिया पी डी एफ टू फिजिओ केमिकल रियक्शन ओके फिजिओ बायो केमिकल दी ना ठीक नेक्स्ट पार्ट तो मैं निलिखो ऑन विच लाइफ एक्जिस्ट ओके हाँ So what happens in photosynthesis? Light reaction or light energy gets converted to Understood this point? Light energy gets converted to heat, chemical energy. Chemical energy ki ho kuchh so karon because we are concerned with the food that is being prepared, right? Talking about photosynthesis, it is the entire process is denoted by this equation. So, if this is the entire equation, so obviously we'll have oxidation and reduction, entire both the things in this reaction itself. So, yeah, our question kya hai? Who undergoes oxidation and who undergoes reduction? As of now, we have already spoken a point that if it is reduction, that is, hale a product that has H needs to get formed. So, yate generally we are talking about what the main product, right? What is the main product? The food. It is called the whole. If you are talking about the starting of the reaction, carbon dioxide plus water will give you oxygen plus the food. Water, this part ignored. Okay. So out of this, someone needs to form the food and someone needs to form oxygen. So the question that is asked is, who forms the food and who forms the oxygen? Do type of stuff, no? Do type of stuff join kori pele food form kori se. Carbon dioxide and water. So someone got converted to food, and because of that reaction, someone got broken down to form oxygen. So who need food prepare? Who is it? Who need oxygen prepare? Who is it? Now we just swap. A two prior to direct, right? And as far as production of oxygen is concerned, photosynthesis or product ki food to food e apart from food, another thing is oxygen. Right? If you talk about oxygen, who is responsible? Carbon dioxide or oxygen? Nasa? Water or oxygen? Nasa? By product, who can form? Who is it? Water. 
it is always water right because there were certain, certain scientists who had proved that the oxygen that is evolved during the process of photosynthesis is, is liberated from water and not from carbon dioxide as of now we have this one right next carbon dioxide key form is a food so it will keep process reduction are it will keep oxidation right food get your prepare hoy dark dark reaction and oxidation is the point understood photosynthesis is a light reaction and dark reaction light reaction or key oxygen produced or if you are talking about dark reaction the food gets synthesized so the question that is asked is who undergoes oxidation and who undergoes reduction during the process of photosynthesis who undergoes oxidation it is the water molecule that undergoes oxidation who undergoes reduction it is carbon dioxide that undergoes reduction right Second point important, this one important, who undergoes oxidation and who undergoes reduction. Hmm. Hey, this is my job, are you? you don't have to worry about that. The best way of doing a class is always writing it along with the teacher. It is taking like the same thing will take I mean some more extra hours in the class also you are doing that same chapter at home also you will be doing that same chapter. What is the point of wasting to do I mean double time instead it is better you write it down now and you understand also right. Right. Is this over? Oh. Okay. So, car oxidation is a car reduction. Is a, is a, is a, is a. Next, talking about photosynthesis, the next point is first photosynthesis was observed in because whenever we talk about photosynthesis, we know it is not only the plants that photosynthesize but bacteria also photosynthesize. So, bacterial photosynthesis was a plant photosynthesis was a first process of photosynthesis was discovered in it was discovered in u bacteria remember bacteria we have talked about u bacteria and the remaining bacteria in the kingdom called as monera right i mean monera poriso u bacteria mani ki true bacteria right so certain types of true bacteria also undergoes photosynthesis and the term that we use is key u bacteria right so u bacteria hetulika photosynthesis was first seen in U bacteria. Okay, again coming to that point, no photosynthesis car car hoy. Photosynthesis bacteria ru hoy. Plants are hoy. Kun bilak bacteria to be precise. U bacteria. Then we have certain cyanobacteria, etc. etc. He will be sort. Talking about both the process, no, a common difference is plants are into photosynthesis hoy. That that ki hoy oxygen produced hoy. Bacteria into photosynthesis hoy that oxygen produced no hoy, right? So this photosynthesis is called as oxygenic photosynthesis. This process is called as anoxygenic or non-oxygenic ziqua. Are the two words clear? Okay, 
look at this point for photosynthesis was first seen in photosynthesis was first seen in eubacteria but that type of photosynthesis was considered as key and oxygenic because bacterial photosynthesis does not liberate oxygen right the next point first true oxygenic photosynthesis code dekaisa oxygenic photosynthesis we have written it under which category plants right but it was not discovered in plants at the beginning but it was discovered in cyanobacteria so you have to read the question properly kundu hudise okol photosynthesis hudise ne true oxygenic photosynthesis hudise if the word true or if the word oxygenic is there so we have to remember that it was discovered first in bga or cyanobacteria Okay, talking about photosynthesis is absent in there are certain plants which does not show photosynthesis. Kun bilak ke ne dekha bo? Jai green color no hoy? Anyone that's not green in color? And whenever we talk about non-green, the first thing that we remember is fungi. Now we know that fungi does not belong to the plant kingdom at all. But even then, since it has many similarities with the plants, we consider it somewhat somewhat similar to plants itself. Remember, we have taught. Uh, I mean, we have talked about certain structures called as mycelium. Right, hey, plant mycelium, thread-like structures, almost same as the plants. So, yate absent in ki, eta to fungi hoboi taru pore. Cascuta. What is cascuta? A parasite. Total stem parasite. Okay. Next, which part of the plant? undergoes photosynthesis if we talk about parts of a plant a plant is divided into stem roots and leaves so photosynthesis kune kore leaves e kore jote chloroplast does the root undergo photosynthesis in majority of the cases no but we have certain photosynthetic roots this is something that we have talked about in morphology also right remember a word called as assimilatory roots Right, assimilatory ki okay. Can assimilate kore. Ki assimilate kore. Food assimilate kore. So you have to know. If like, we take it a point important, huh? Next, there is a point about euglena. Euglena, we have already discussed. What discussed? Correct, sir. Protist, right? Photosynthetic protist. What is euglena? Nothing but an example of a photosynthetic protist, right? Protist. What? I mean, which one? The euglena forms a link between plants and animals. And it is a photosynthetic organism. Yate are a point liki para or else extra ki uli para. Photosynthetic roots are also called as next one point that is not, I think it's not given in the PDF. Since we are talking about photosynthesis, we have to talk about chlorophyll also. over online students likha holi kekini okay okay so this was the introduction part next part of discussion is regarding certain experiments and 
the contribution of certain scientists. So we would be talking about certain contributions, right? Apart from this, NCRT book of Jiman scientist or Nama say, you have to read about them, right? If there is a picture also, please read the information that is given in the, I mean, below the picture. Question has been asked from pictures also. So a co point from NCRT book, don't skip it. Either it might be a picture of a scientist, it might be a picture of an experiment also. Right? Experiment to Saba, diagram Saba, he likha sa he to Saba. Right? Yeah. Hmm. What do I have to do? Yeah, chlorophyll synthesis in plants requires a short form. Okay? Link fully for here to answer to me is a deeper like a can protest me for his so because it show or to me I got it shows both the characteristics of plants and animals right it does not have a cell wall that's the first characteristic that to be considered as animal right instead it has something called as a pellicle right second it is photosynthetic that is also a characteristic of plant but in absence of photosynthesis heterotrophic mode of nutrition was a how many you cleaner mixotrophic nutrition as a right and next is it can move from one place to another in search of sunlight in search of food etc right okay next since we have to talk of about certain experiment at experiment likha and i'm simple ke likhi this is not in sentences what i'm really kilo fast fast likha so that we can understand
So talking about different different types of experiments, generally we have to talk about two experiments. First, the experiment that talks about this conclusion, right? The key lage, the chlorophyll lagibo, chlorophyll thakile. But if the part is green, only then photosynthesis will occur. Occur kole to no we have to prove it down also. So to prove that statement, what we have taken is two leaves. One leaf, a portion of it covered by a black paper, and that type of a leaf is called as a variegated leaf, and one leaf, the entire leaf that is completely exposed to the sunlight. If it is exposed to the sunlight, if you look or if you study this, I mean, what happen? Starch formation, but food formation, that is, food formation, what is it? Because chlorophyll is light, is carbon dioxide, is ultimately food form. Because so in this case, what happens? This area, since it has been covered, that chlorophyll is there, but it could not take in the light. If it cannot take in the light, the food would not get prepared. So ultimately, this area of the leaf will not show starch formation. So ultimately, what we conclude is photosynthesis occurs only in the green parts of a plant. Understood? So question to Avarjali Ahe, what does the experiment with variegated leaf conclude? What is the experiment with variegated leaf conclude? It concluded that photosynthesis occurs only in green parts of a plant in presence of sunlight. Clear? Okay. Can I rub this part? Okay. Understood, no? Okay. Next, experiment 2. Okay, talking about this experiment also from entrance point of view, describe the experiment, show the experiment or diagram the diva, nothing of that type of a question has been asked as of now. Question kia he say, Moll's half leaf experiment showed, it showed that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. It is only this statement and this statement that you will remember from entrance point of view. Clear? What did Moll's half leaf experiment prove? It proved that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. As far as the ex experiment is concerned,
right? Mall's half leaf experiment. Why is it called as such? Because you have taken only a part of the leaf from experiment point of view. Right? What you have done is you have taken that part of a leaf and you have put it in a test tube and in the test tube you have put cotton also. But this cotton is soaked in a particular KOH solution, right? potassium hydroxide solution of cotton to uh, soak kori pe light test tube what we right now this test tube is also exposed to light and in this case also the normal plant is exposed to light so if you are talking about this no a leaf to eki kori bo carbon dioxide to lobo light to lobo right ultimately the process will start and we will see starch but if you are talking about this condition this is the leaf this leaf will take in obviously light Atmosphere or kiya se carbon dioxide wa se kindu it cannot take in carbon dioxide because this carbon dioxide that was present in the atmosphere got absorbed by this cotton, right? Gute carbon dioxide kini e absorb korile so this leaf did not get the carbon dioxide and so it could not produce the food, right? So what does this experiment talks about? It says that carbon dioxide is essential for food preparation or for the process of photosynthesis. Yate atmosphere or carbon dioxide asile. Carbon dioxide kini kini kune except koi pelale cotton to kure, right? So that's the reason why we have a cotton to that is soaked in potassium hydroxide. It absorbs the entire carbon dioxide. The leaf does not get the carbon dioxide and so it does not photosynthesize. Clear? So these are the two experiments that we'll study. Apart from that, in your book we have that Belger experiment. Right? At a bell is that mice, that plant, that mint plant. No, remember you talk talked about this one there was a mice then you had the plant right oxygen hole ki hobo no hole ki hobo this is the experiment that you will see from the ncrt book there is no point of drawing it here right so experiment a dutai lage and that too not in details just two lines okay next Next part of the PDF talks about certain scientists and their contribution. What we will do is we will not write the contribution of the scientists in the class. This is the part that you can write at home, right? Because all you have to do is just write and study, right? Please take out that portion and we will mark it down what is important. After the scientists, remaining portion again we will write. Okay? So, in your note, what you can do is leave two pages for the scientists part, write it at home and then we will continue, right? Please take out your PDF. Nizor nizor notes or but nizor nizor copy khonot dukhon pe eji eri diba ha scientists kini likhi ba kintu ni likhi le pisole pakori zaba is it understood online students did you get me okay karon scientists kini likhi na thaku ekini likhi lu karon yat bujabo lagibo thik ase ar scientist ta part kini ulua jikini important just okoban kobat note kora actually all the points are important the first is about stephen hales stephen hales I think you can see it from the PDF, Kilikaza, father of plant physiology, you have to remember. Discovered photosynthesis, recognized the importance of light and carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. Any point that you did not understand? So out of these question, out of these points, question has been asked about the first point. Who is considered as the father of plant physiology? Okay. Next we have JC Bose, the father of Indian plant physiology. Jagdish Chandra Bose is considered as the father of plant physiology. Next is Joseph Presley. As I have said, we have to talk about that Belgian experiment, right? Belgian experiment kune disle, Joseph Presley disle. So, experiment is called as Belgian. What are the requirements? Belgian, a mouse, a candle and a particular plant. What is important is the name of the plant. Question ahi se, what is the plant that is used during the Belger experiment? That is the reason why I said, no, echo experiment, any photograph that is there in the NCRT book, please do not skip. GT question is a book. Right? Karan Belger will equal a, we would be expecting a question from Presley point of view. No, we will never expect the plant dollar nam to kwa. Right? He to question wise. So, he to post to sabo levo. So, pudina plant or mint plant, he point to saba. Right? And what did it conclude? It concluded that purification of air or gaseous exchange takes place in photosynthesis. Belger experiment to Sobe Puri Sabha Gharot. If you did not understand, please ask me in the next class. I think it's something that's very simple, 
will understand. Can Horu Pura Puri is it was to right? Okay. Next is we have been talking about bacterial photosynthesis. Who has given the concept of bacterial photosynthesis? It's when Neil, name of the scientist, important. Next, Rubin and Kamen, R U B E N K A M E N. Rubin and Kamen, a key question question. Oxygen in photosynthesis is released from water. Remember the equation that we have written. Carbon dioxide plus water gives the food and oxygen. So previous to this or prior to this or prior to Reuben and Kamen, scientists were of the opinion that oxygen is liberated from carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide plus water will give you what? Food. So so be bhavi sile, jay carbon dioxide or pora hai oxygen to ulai se. Kintu uh, oxygen liberates from water. Kunu bai to prove kori bo lehi bo? Kunne prove kori sa Reuben and Kamen and how did he prove it? He proved it by using radioactive isotope of oxygen that is oxygen 18. So oxygen 18 word to monotrakiba, right? Isotope of oxygen, that is another word that you remember, right? Just look into the equation. Equation to Swasan PDF or Jundu equation this eh? Is it visible clearly? Right. So, what did they prove? They proved that oxygen that is liberated during the process of photosynthesis comes out from water and not from carbon dioxide. Can I prove for you? A218. A218. So, isotope. Key use for you? Isotope of oxygen. Which isotope? 18. Right. Okay. Next scientist Julius von Sack. He was the first one to say that. Starch is the product of photosynthesis. I mean, to know it, you know, the starch form hoy. Can you know by proof? So, he is the scientist behind. And he also said chloroplast is the site of absorption of carbon dioxide and release of oxygen. Ultimately, the entire reaction of photosynthesis occurs at which part? It occurs in the chloroplast. Who proved it? Julius von Sachs. Next is the next scientist is Pfeffer. He found that oxygen released from plants to be slightly more than oxygen. Oh, sorry, than carbon dioxide. Just read the sentence. If you are talking about a plant, plant dot ki hoy exchange of gas hoy no hoy. Right? Exchange of gas coat hoi, photosynthesis or to hoi, respiration or to hoi. If you are talking about both the process, both the process occur simultaneously in the cell. So, if you are talking about uh, this one, photosynthesis, that hoi, carbon dioxide except for oxygen release kore. If you are talking about respiration, just the opposite, oxygen taken, carbon dioxide get released. So, if you compare the amount of absorption and the amount of release, what it has been proved that oxygen release from plants to be slightly more than carbon dioxide. Plants say release carbon dioxide, plants also release oxygen. The same cell releases carbon dioxide in one process, releases oxygen in the other process, right? If you are comparing car amount BC, it is always oxygen that is. Is the line understood? Next, the next scientist is Warburg. Warburg has Oh, we have to remember something called as Warburg's effect, right? Warburg is a scientist. He has worked upon a particular alga that is or algae that is chlorella. Whenever we talk about chlorella, what we remember? Space food, unicellular green algae. These are the two terms that we remember, no? Okay. So, he used green alga that is chlorella for photosynthesis. He said that carbon dioxide, oh, sorry, he said that in C3 plants, increasing the oxygen lowers the photosynthesis. Please read the line. 
photosynthesis porute we have to talk about something called as warburg's effect right warburg's effect is actually related with what related with something called as a c2 cycle as i said no c3 porhibo leibo c4 porhibo leibo cam porhibo leibo aru eta cycle porhibo leibo that is called as c2 c2 is also called as photorespiration now what do you understand by the word respiration and what do you understand by the word photorespiration duta word ase no eta hol respiration eta hol photorespiration respiration is respiration you take in oxygen release carbon dioxide dress is respiration is respiration light dependent eno kato no hoy je light thakile ha moi respire korim tene kato no hoy kintu you have something called as photorespiration means what the same type of exchange of gases takes place in presence of light in such a condition the plant instead of taking carbon dioxide it takes in oxygen from the atmosphere and releases carbon dioxide normally plants will like from photosynthesis point of view what they do they take kill the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere releases oxygen but at certain times in certain types of plants what they do is when the oxygen amount is more in the atmosphere tahate ki kore oxygen accept koribole arambha kore normally plant eta carbon dioxide accept korile photosynthesis koribo ne oxygen accept korile photosynthesis koribo obviously carbon dioxide so they will have to absorb carbon dioxide and then they will have to produce the food instead of absorbing carbon dioxide if they start absorbing oxygen what will happen to photosynthesis process to ki ho jabo actually to hoboi na lage it should stop right because photosynthesis starts from what accepting carbon dioxide the plant is not accepting carbon dioxide it's taking in oxygen photosynthesis hobo niki no hoy actually zero photosynthesis hobo lage but we will see later that it's not zero it is just 10% loss in photosynthesis we will be talking about it right it should be zero photosynthesis but it's not zero this is something that we are going to talk about in the c2 cycle what will happen if a plant takes in oxygen instead of carbon dioxide if a plant takes in oxygen instead of carbon dioxide it lowers the or slows the process of photosynthesis this is what is called as warburg's effect oxygen low le photosynthesis slow hoy jabo ye photosynthesis no hobo boli kwa nai kintu moi oxygen low le photosynthesis ekebare no hobo ei statement tu kwa nai moi ki koisu oxygen low le photosynthesis process to slow down hoy jabo photosynthesis process slow down mane ki the amount of food that needs to get synthesized will slow down less food would get synthesized it will require more time etc etc right we will be talking about that is what is called as warburg's effect what did warburg's effect say now read the statement and see whether you have understood or not c3 plants what is a c3 plant we'll be discussing later increases the oxygen lowers the photosynthesis due to photo respiration so at a particular group of plant kuntu group c3 plants what do the c3 plants do they sometimes take in oxygen instead of carbon dioxide if that happens then what will happen photosynthesis process with gel will get slower this entire effect was discovered by warburg and so it is called as warburg's effect oxygen low le photosynthesis komi jabo that's all Okay. Next, the next scientists, Emerson and Arnold. These were the two scientists who said that light reaction occurs in two steps. Photosynthesis occurs in how many steps? Two steps: light reaction, dark reaction. Again, light reaction occurs in two steps: cyclic, non-cyclic. Right? So, each a light reaction or two part asse. Kune ko sile Emerson or Arnold de. So, the question that is asked is, who proved that light reaction? consist of two steps or who said light reaction consists of two steps so contributions you need to study next we have hill reaction a scientist called as hill what did he prove he proved that oxygen is not liberated from carbon dioxide during photosynthesis as we have said no prior to reuben and kamel scientists were of the opinion that the oxygen liberated from because of photosynthesis came from carbon dioxide kintu etia hetu bostu statement to wrong hisabe proof hoyse nai oxygen ko pra ulai carbon dioxide pra ulai ni kintu line hoy ko pra ulai water pra ulai right so hill reaction 
talks about what? It talks about that that carbon dioxide does not release oxygen. Who releases oxygen? Water releases oxygen, right? See, uh, what did Hill do? Hill has conducted the experiment in a particular plant that is called as Stellaria. Stellaria pisot ki likha se Media. There is no word called media. Media no hoy Stellaria plant, right? He isolated chloroplast from the Stellaria plant and found liberation of oxygen in the absence of carbon dioxide. This is what is called as Hill reaction. So, carbon dioxide or oxygen no like heat wave proof chorisle, kune proof chorisle, hille, and that reaction is called as a Hill reaction. And during this experiments, he has used certain types of chemicals, and these chemicals are called as Hill reagents. Right? Then I get a lot of DCPIP, dichlorophenol, indol phenol. This is nothing but a di, D Y E. He has also used ferricyanide and another thing, NADP. Right? So, question can I get? Identify the Hill reagents. Kisuman chemicals did you Hill reagent kuntu identify kori bolibo. So, these three are the Hill reagents. Okay. So, this was all about the scientist portion that we have to study. Any point where you have a doubt, just see and tell me. Next, we'll be talking about photosynthetic requirements. This is something that we are going to write it down. Scientists are experimental part of kiba ase niki failwa. DCP, ICP. DCP, IP, dichlorophenol, indophenol, DCP, dichlorophenol, IP, indophenol, DCP, IP. A maximum question has been asked about this only. There is a question to ahe, no? identify the Hill reagent. Hill reagent, it will put a question. Ahe. Nothing in details, only the name you need to remember. So please keep one or two pages in your note so that you can write these informations later. Warbar effect. Warbar sequence. Effect, effect. If a warbar effect, no. Warbar effect, read the statement. Warbar effect. It is nothing but a statement or it is nothing but an experiment or it is nothing but a conclusion that Warbar said. What did he say? He had done certain type of experiments in a particular group of plants that is called a C3 plants. What is a C3 plant? We will study, but if you have already studied, I think you know what is a C3 plant. No? If the first stable product is a 3 carbon compound, that group of plant is called as C3. The plant will take in carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide low apply. Who will take in carbon dioxide? The plant, you cannot be using the word the plant, it has to be a specific molecule that takes in carbon dioxide. right? So, if I say the plant is absorbing carbon dioxide, what I understand is one molecule in the plant takes in the carbon dioxide, reacts and forms something. Right? If that product is a 3 carbon compound, that plant is called as a C3 plant. Carbon dioxide plus RUBP will give you that 3 PGA, phosphoglyceric acid. Okay. In those plants, what they do is during the process of photosynthesis, they absorb carbon dioxide, that is a normal process. But sometimes, who takes in carbon dioxide to be precise? RUBP takes in carbon dioxide. C3 plant sort carbon dioxide acceptor if a plant has to accept carbon dioxide there should be an acceptor also so c3 plants have a particular molecule that is called as rubp ribulose biphosphate right that will take in what atmospheric carbon dioxide sometimes what 
do RUBP do? It takes in oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. If it takes in oxygen, then what will happen? The process of photosynthesis will slow down because RUBP plus carbon dioxide will give you PGA. PGA ultimately after all the reactions will give you the food. If PGA is not formed, photosynthesis will get hampered. This is called Warburg's effect. Taking in of oxygen by a plant, which plant? C3 plant lowers the rate of photosynthesis. That's all. Hmm. Hmm. C2 plant C2 cycle or come. C2 cycle. Carbon dioxide no luake. Oxygen low pillai photosynthesis can ake koribo. Right? Actually, sabole gole, JDL plant a oxygen loy. That la food a cavare prepare a hobona legisile. Can food kit a prepare hobo, jet a carbon dioxide lobo. He took carbon dioxide luinae. To me, rice kinae, kind of bat kayas, a hoboniki. No hobo, kind of to me the pio hook habopera, cobarpra. Or you can have oats also. It's also in the form of starch only. Butter bra keep on starch or carbohydrate, oats or bra keep on carbohydrate. So ultimately, your body is getting carbohydrate itself. Not necessary, you have to eat rice only. Right? So, then you can have a cycle. Normally, what we think if a plant takes in oxygen, photosynthesis should get completely stopped. But it does not occur like this. Why it does not occur? C2 cycle, I'll explain. Okay. I mean, the oxygen is a photosynthesis of oxygen. What is it? What is it? What is it? Plant the oxygen D as a photosynthesis Korea as oxygen exchange of gases from the stomata ki hoy. Oxygen to ulai is a plant or body pra. Oxygen to ulai pele kule guise. Kule guise. Amata directly he guise niki. Se? Se dal to ame gosda lo sa dene karoi thi bolii bo. Ha, se bolii okay chalo. It'll give oxygen and I'll take. It's almost like a oxygen cylinder then. So like that to. Atmosphere of the bo. And from the atmosphere we will take it. I am going to carbon dioxide. I will take it. I will take it. We also release it in the atmosphere and then they will take it. Because taking in money, there is a particular molecule that combines with that. That is what is called as taking in. They do not have hands that they will take in. Neither we have. Oh, obviously, we have hands, but we don't take in oxygen with our hands. Okay? Huh? Huh? Came in. No, no. Hate to experiment or hate to kori palai to prove kori se je water isotope to oxygen or tasse. Tar mane water pora oxygen form kori se. Hile core pora form kori se kwa na hoy carbon dioxide pora na hoy bolii hai kori se. Core pora hoy. Jadi carbon dioxide pora na hoy. The copra hoy. Copra hoy, Reuben and Cayman. Carbon dioxide of a no hoy, hill. Right? I think it's clear? Okay. Next, we have to talk about this one. Whenever we talk about requirements, adult plant a photosynthesized coribo lakile, they should have certain requirements. And what are the requirements? Right? All the requirements has been what? Categorized under five heading. So, ki ki lagibo, gute gita lagibo. The first requirement is carbon dioxide heading kori ba carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, as we keep on writing, what is important from exam point of view, we'll be discussing. First, we have carbon dioxide. Please write.
So the first requirement is carbon dioxide. From where will the plants take in? They will take it from the atmosphere. What is the question that is asked? Eto to kete on ukode the plants a carbon dioxide corpora lobo. It's well obvious that atmosphere or lobo. Atmosphere or carbon dioxide key percentage or asse. Right? You have to remember this. You have to remember this. Sometimes the question is asked about percentage. Sometimes it is asked about parts per million. Okay, PPM ki hai parts per million. So normally 0.3 percent of carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere. Exchange of gases, coat rare hoy, stomata, but is it only stomata? No. Apart from stomata, body surface and something called as lenticels. Those who have read about the anatomy portion, I think you know what a lenticel is. I mean, class of I mean, because uh, have you heard something called as transpiration? What is transpiration? Loss of water. Loss of water is incomplete. Loss of water in the form of vapor, vapor, gas form, you know, So, if you are talking about something that is in the form of a gas, then I mean exchange of gas, exchange, right? So, exchange generally occurs what? Through stomata. So, if you are talking about transpiration, we have something called as types of transpiration. Transpiration corpora hoy, not only through stomata, we have certain words called as foliar transpiration. Another word called as choline transpiration, another word called as bark transpiration, another word called as stomatal transpiration. Out of these four types of transpiration, what is most common is obviously the stomatal, right? Stomata pra transpiration hoy kindu ketia ba leaves or pra ba foliar parts, ketia ba choline means the stem also undergoes transpiration. So, accordingly from which part of the body right transpiration takes place we have different types of transpiration so ultimately usually occurs through stomata but not only from stomata clear what is lenticels anatomy comp certain types of cells that is deposited with uh, that is present in the bark that is responsible for a change of gases etc etc i mean come secondary growth jeta por him tetia ami come as of now lenticels are responsible for exchange of gases. Some loosely arranged parenchymatal cells that is present in the bark that is responsible for exchange of gases is called as lenticels. Why they are called as lenticels? Because they will have a lens type structure. So, they are called as lenticels. Right? Next point. Okay, read the statement clearly, okay. Its assimilation, its assimilation mane carbon dioxide assimilation, assimilation mane taking in, right.
okay and the word since we are talking about carbon dioxide if a plant takes in carbon dioxide what it will produce it will produce glucose or it will produce food right during which process dark reaction by utilizing what the products of light reaction light reaction or thua bustu kita use kora pisot he dark reaction hobo paribo as far as the products of light reaction are concerned ATP or NADPH, nicotine, uh, it will be nicotine amide, di, uh, dihydrogen phosphate by NADPH2, by dihydrogen phosphate, etc. NADPH or NADPH2, right? Either it is a reduced form or it is not in reduced form. As of now, what is ATP? Energy, we understand. What is NADPH? It is nothing but a reducing part. Why is it called as a reducing part? Because it helps in the process of reduction. Reduction means conversion of carbon dioxide into food. Yet someone needs to help. Who needs to help? The product of light reaction. Which product to be precise? NADPH. Right? These ATP and NADPH or the products of light reaction have another name that is called as assimilatory power. Right? Assimilatory power bully kole duta bustu. Ketia produce hoy light reaction of ki hoy ATP or NADPH. NADP actually sabole kole the main molecule is NADP if it takes an H NADPH if NADP has to become NADPH they tell like ki hobo labor reduction hobo lagi bon na lage right so actually cell tooth in which form is it present it is present in the form of NADP NADP X or it takes an H or the proton that was present in the cell because of some other reactions right eta cell or electrons or protons thake can I get a key back here bang is I bang you play electrons are protons form correct hey any DP molecule to already sell out form Corey say hey any DP as a D proton at a low low to tell a takami key break up any DP did it do top proton low any DP H2 right so what is any DP H and any DP H2 reduce form of any DP clear so any DP full form to liquid in baro NADP nicotinamide adenine phosphate NADPH2 nicotinamide adenine dihydrogen phosphate NADPH nicotinamide adenine hydrogen phosphate is the point understood right so generally when we talk about the product of uh, this one the uh, light reaction Normally, I mean NADPH by NADPH2. Because NADP to already cell to tassile. Light reaction or can it be? NADP to convert or what is it? Either NADPH or NADPH2, right? Reduction of carbon dioxide occurs during light reaction and dark reaction. And who is going to help? Yeah. Right? Okay, what we are discussing is, uh, we are talking about a statement that if photosynthesis needs to happen, carbon dioxide If you are talking about plants taking in carbon dioxide, we have a word that is called as acceptor. And that little plant thought, kunu baato acceptor thakki bo legi bo, jo nini ki carbon dioxide to lobo? Yes or no? Who is a acceptor? Nothing but a molecule. Right, at a particular molecule, it will get combined or it will react with carbon dioxide and ultimately forward the reaction. That is what is called as an acceptor. So each and every plant will have an acceptor 
what acceptor carbon dioxide acceptor what is the function of the acceptor it will accept the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere now talking about plants to plants broadly from the photosynthesis point of view anatomy point sorry plant kingdom point of view or photosynthesis point of view classification of plants different different plant kingdom point of view we have talked about the different types of plants algae bryophytes theropods etc etc right from photosynthesis point of view generally broadly classified under c3 and c4 right so either the plant would be a c3 plant or it would be a c4 or it can also be a cam plant so all the three groups of plants will have the carbon dioxide acceptor right so what is the acceptor ribulose biphosphate or ribulose diphosphate eke tai bostu rubp is ribulose biphosphate or ribulose diphosphate it is the carbon dioxide acceptor in hi anyone remember in case of c4 plants carbon dioxide acceptor ki asile c4 plants ka carbon dioxide acceptor c4 plants are diagram to mon dasen nai ente ati bukot dia ase okay anyway forget now. two molecules rubp and pep pep or rubp kisuman plants of rubp ase kisuman plants of pep ase what they will do they will take in the carbon dioxide take in the carbon dioxide mane ki or this is what we understand by taking in of carbon dioxide or carboxylation right so what is this nothing but a starting of a reaction right ihot to tai jodi kaam koribo tetale kiba ta product form koribo yatu jodi kiba ta kaam kore kiba ta product form koribo for this reaction to go yate enzyme lagibo na lage right yatu eta enzyme lagibo na lage so this is what we are writing here addition of carbon dioxide is called as carboxylation which is catalyzed catalyzed mane helped which is helped by certain enzymes ki ki enzymes asile आर यू पी पुनः एनजाइम रिलेटेड पेपर कनजाइम रिलेटेड पेपकेज और रुबिस्को रुबिस्को इन द बुक्स एने के लिखा थे दाइट सो आईडर यू उल सी इन दिस फर्म और यू उल सी इन दिस फर्म एक्चुअल द प्रपार वे अफ रईटिंग इज दिस वन because the name itself talks about that molecule called as rubp rubp rub is a short form of rubp rubp ki asile ribulose biphosphate kot thake plants or cells or bhitor thake so rubp e ketia ba ki accept kore carbon dioxide accept kore ketia ba ki accept kore oxygen jedi carbon dioxide accept kore the normal photosynthesis hobo or the c3 cycle hobo jedi oxygen accept kore c2 cycle hobo so this line talks about rubp is carboxylase or rubp is oxygenase is the point understood 
ASE suffix thakile we are talking about what? We are talking about an enzyme, right? Carboxylase, LASE, ASE, so obviously an enzyme. Oxygenase, ASE, so we are talking about an enzyme. So, yate ki koise RUBP carbon dioxide lobo. Jedi loy the enzyme carboxylase. RUBP oxygenase. It can act as a carboxylase, it can also act as a oxygenase also, right? एक ब्लैक उठे पॉइंट ब्लैक इम्पोर्टेंट है द्वितीया एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट क्वेश्चन तो बहुत आए यार का हाँ हाँ कुल C A M plants क्या था type of plant हाँ C three plants जैसे क्या से C four plant तो वासे और C A M plants तो वासे C A M plants कुल मिला actually CAM plants will be here coin current a black plants or CAM cycle they have found what is CAM cycle crassulation acid metabolism cycle this cycle is seen in succulents So, succulent plants will occur due to dark reaction hoi, hey reaction to kami ki buli ko CAM cycle. C3 plants are due to dark reaction hoi, ta kami C3 cycle ko. And C4 plants are due to dark reaction hoi, ta kami C4 cycle ko. So, you have to remember certain examples of C3 plants, certain examples of C4 and certain examples of CAM. CAM plants, if you remember this, you can write any example, right? C3, C4 are question nami bisat kori. Okay. Coming to the points about all the points that we have written about carbon dioxide, maximum question is asked about that first point and this point. First point ki asile atmospheric carbon dioxide or percentage two, right? Last point ki something called as a limiting factor. So directly question hai limiting factor for which plant? Limiting not a limiting factor for which plant? Now you have to understand the word limiting factor. What is a limiting factor? If something is limited by something, okay, I'll give you two examples. <sighs> Okay, you have a test, right? And you have a book from where you'll read for the test. You are you are a student, you have a test tomorrow, you have to study from a book. What will happen if the book gets lost? Okay. We have two persons, A and B, right? Yar ekon book asse. Yar dukon books asse, right? Books about the same topic. Same topic, same topic, right? Okay, this person is directly dependent on this one book. What will happen if this book gets lost? Zero power. Oh no, a con book is a heretical book. Whereas in this case, one book, the other book, a con lost. Zero power. 
ना पाए क्यों ना पाए यू हैव अ डिफरेंट सोर्स ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव जस्ट वन सोर्स लिमिटिंग फैक्टर सपोज ए टू सपोज एक्स और ए दिस ए इज डिपेन्डेंट ऑन वॉट एक्स इफ एक्स इनक्रीजेज ए ऑल्सो इनक्रीज इफ एक्स डिक्रीजेज ए ऑल्सो विल डिक्रीज बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस कंडिशन इफ एक्स डिक्रीजेज बी डिक्रीज नक पूरा कारण टू आसे न यू हेव अनादार सोर्स सो एक्जेक्टलि द सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन इफ अ प्लान टेक्स इन कार्बन डाइक्साइड फ्रम वन सोर्स ओनलि दैट इज ओनलि द एटमोसफियर then we use the word limiting if something happens to that atmospheric carbon dioxide the process of photosynthesis gets hampered atmosphere or carbon dioxide komi gol photosynthesis slow hoy jabon na jay so that is what is called as a limiting factor it limits your process i have i have more you will do more i have less you will do less directly dependent right but whereas in case of this example we use the word what not a limiting factor why in certain types of plants carbon dioxide is accepted from two sources not only from the atmosphere but from certain reactions that occur within the cell itself adult plant e carbon dioxide lobo lagibo tetia photosynthesis hobo carbon dioxide ko pra lobo atmosphere pra atmosphere r jodi carbon dioxide na thake tetia la photosynthesis no hoy किसान प्लेट्स एने से जो निकी एटमसफियर लय और बेलेग एट सोर्स लय सो एटमसफियर जो नाथा सेकेंड सोर्स लगभग और फटोसिन्थेसिश कंडक्ट कर इफ इट हेज टू सोर्सेस नट आ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर इफ इट हेज वन सोर्स आ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर वन सोर्स अफ कार्बन डाइक्साइड एक्सेप्टेस ओनलि फ्रम द एटमसफियर लिमिटिंग फैक्टर इन उच प्लेट सी थ्री प्लेट्स C4 plants conducts photosynthesis by taking in carbon dioxide from two source one obviously the atmosphere second carbon dioxide gets produced because of various reactions that occur within the cell itself eta cellot okol to photosynthesis e hoy thaka nai belegu hoy ase ba photosynthesis or reaction or majot eta by product hisabe carbon dioxide ulabo pare nware obviously pare right so we will talk about it in c4 cycle if you remember in c4 cycle two cells are involved in photosynthesis three three plants or c3 plants or only one cell is involved it is only the mesophyll cell that conducts photosynthesis c3 plants so if it is one cell it has one source of carbon dioxide generally right but but okay this statement would also not be correct because in cam plants photosynthesis occur in one cell itself but they have two source the best way to understand this carbon dioxide is taken in from one source ne two source yedi eta source opra loy limiting factor kar hoy c3 plants and and if you are talking about not a limiting factor in case of c4 plants a bostu to clear ketia hobo jeti ami c3 cycle or c4 cycle korim as of now just by heart why limiting and not limiting one source if something happens to the source the entire process gets disturbed you have two source one source gets disturbed doesn't matter you have the other source to rely upon clear so c4 plants a carbon dioxide duta jagar pra loy c3 plants a carbon dioxide matro atmosphere er pra loy ekane c3 plants are limiting factor c4 plants are not a limiting factor clear as far as the reaction is concerned c3 c4 cycle er ma korai dim ha ko तो कम सी फोर सैकेल ठीक है सो सी फोर सैकेल की रियक्शन तो स्टार्ट है पी पी प्लास सीओ टू द रियक्शन प्रसिड्स एंड इन द मिड टर्म न एट सेल इफ यू रिमेम्बर बंडल शीट सेल आसे दूटा सेल इनवल्व एट हल मेसोफिल सेल एट हल बंडल शीट सेल बंडल शीट सेल एट रियक्शन कारण इंटरमिडियेट प्रडक्ट हिसाब से कार्बन डाइक्साइड रिलीज है कार्बन डाइक्साइड तो आक तहते एक्सेप्ट कर लय सो दे हेव टू सोर्सेस either from the cell itself or from the atmosphere so not a limiting factor hmm? oh no hoy no hoy no hoy no hoy no hoy c4 plants or atmosphere or porao lobo lagibo cell to porao lobo lagibo dui ta lobo lagibo tetia hai photosynthesis hobo thik ase so etu no hoy je okol atmosphere or pra lom atmosphere or pra jetia lage no loy tetia hale reaction tu e no hobo जेट रियक्शन तो नो तेल बै प्रडक्टे फर्म नक राइट सो आल्टिमेटलि प्लेट्स उल हेव टू टेक इन कार्बन डाइक्साइड फ्रम द एटमसफियर इट सेल्फ एंड स्टार्ट द रियक्शन राइट सो दिस इज अल 
uh, about the first requirement that is carbon dioxide i think this is all for today in the next class we'll be talking about water the second requirement and followed on by the other four up till here keep our doubts are still like you as far as the points are concerned please read each and every point okay question get a hey yaar pro so please read this is obviously a very important topic photosynthesis and respiration the most important topic of plant physiology and the uh, homework ki ase scientists kini likhiba right our experiments and all the photographs and experiments that are given in your ncert book please go through that okay thank you